Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good morning. Welcome back to the channel and welcome here to beautiful Monterey, California. It is Friday car week. Today is the Quail, the most expensive, lavish car show I think in the entire world. If you're new to the channel, you wouldn't know this. I never wear a button up shirt and today I am wearing a button up shirt. We're kind of late, we're kind of early. It's very early, it's like 6.30 a.m. So yeah, we gotta roll. Scratch that, scratch that. We're not running that late. You see these aluminum stanchions right here? So we're on this side and we wanna be on this side and that's because, check it out. We have the Chrome P1 Akuntosh and yes, the CLK GTR, whoa, we gotta go over there. There's one of 25 in the entire world. I think on Saturday night, it's being auctioned off for I'm sure several million dollars. We got the Countach, and then we have a couple Aston Martin Zygatas. We would go check those out, but we're running very, very late. The Jeep is in the parking garage. My Jeep is just around the corner, and on the other side of this valet-only sign, which I don't know if I'm allowed to cross, but it's a black Ferrari F50. One of four black F50s in the entire world, next to a GT3 with a massive, massive, massive wing. <laughs> check that out. The legendary F50, all the way from Montana! I tell you guys, if today's video gets 943,000 likes, I'm taking a supercar road trip to Montana. I could stare at the F50 all day long, but there's a man on a golf cart coming up here and I think he's gonna kick me out, so we gotta roll. Jeep Nation, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. There's a Huracan Performante right there on Montana plates. I'm telling you, smash that like button. <laughs> Check that out. The Lamborghini Espada. That thing is wicked. That is so cool, so cool. You know it's gonna be a good show when there's a Senna just casually cruising in. Green carbon shear on, we're getting the hookups. Whoa. It's called the Green Hornet. The Green Hornet, that is unbelievable. I've never seen a green carbon shear on. I love your YouTube channel, Oh, awesome, man. Man. It's a, it's Yes, awesome. Line Solutions, hooking uh, it up. Yes, sir. Awesome, man. All right. It's a beautiful car. Today is kind of Bugatti day at 11.20 a.m., the moment we've all been waiting for. The new Devo is being unveiled, so we're just getting a little sneak peek here with the green carbon shear on. It is gonna be a good day. Thank you guys, appreciate yeah, it. Good to meet you, Stradman. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, that is the new Devo. I, I don't really know anything about it. It's gonna be $5 million. They're building 40 of them. We got a shear on next to it, but there it is just hidden underneath the covers. Three men in security kind of protecting the car, but there it is, you can see, it's got a nice wing. It's kind of loosely based off the Vision Gran Turismo. Another Chiron right there. So we got three hours, so, well, let's go explore. There's kind of like four main goals of this event. The first one is to get as much free food as possible, obviously. The second one, the unveiling of the Bugatti Devo. I'm pretty sure the Aventador SVJ is also happening today. And then also just kind of like try to blend in, if you know what I mean, because obviously, I don't really belong, at, I mean I do belong at this event, I mean I got, I got credentials. I got credentials, but I don't really belong, so just try to fit in, just try to blend, blend. As you know, I am the biggest Koenigsegg fan in the world, and I'm just taking a moment to appreciate the final two Koenigsegg Agueras ever built. However, there is a Hennessy 6x6 up there, and so, well, as much as I love the Ghost Squadron, this thing is unreal, the Velociraptor. God bless America and God bless Hennessy. We have their Velociraptor 6x6. John Hennessy was like, well, you know, a standard Raptor has two axles. What if somehow, some way, it had three axles? Cannot convey the size of this truck to you guys. You've got like a little detailing van over there. You got the side mounted exhaust right here. And check out this suspension setup. Jeep Nation, Jeep Nation. If today's video can get nine billion likes, I'll turn my Wrangler into a six by six. So yeah, smash that like button. Next to the Koenigsegg stand, we have the McLaren stand. I don't wanna, I don't wanna predict the future, but the Senna GTR is under this cover. And this cover is so massive because the front splitter and the rear diffuser on the Senna GTR was well, kinda like the size of like a Thanksgiving dinner table. Uh, so yeah, they need a very, very big cover. And we also got the green carbon Senna. I saw this car in Connecticut, what, like two weeks ago? And now it's here in Monterey. I'm telling you guys, green carbon fiber, it's, it's not making a comeback because it's new. It, it never went anywhere. Anyways, green carbon fiber, what do you think? Lamborghini stand. We have the Aventador SVJ. I think it was 1020, 1030. This car is being unveiled. Always interesting to see how car companies wrap it up. We got some duct tape right there. Uh, but as you can see, 
644 around the famed Nürburgring. We got the Performante Spider and we have the Urus right there. I don't think, yeah, I'm not gonna stand on this, but there it is, the SVJ. The PB18 e-tron. I don't know if that's a future uh, design of the Audi R8. That thing is sick. What? It just needs a ski box and maybe like four. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We're not going to put a light bar on a concept car, but if you could, it'd be pretty cool. It's so sick. Honestly, a ski box would fit on perfectly right there. It's like a Audi R8 shooting brake concept. And then we got the V10 plus. That's not a plus. It's a rear wheel drive. My bad. My mistake. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Check out this rear diffuser. Are you kidding me? If you like aero, have yourself a moment. Also, Girth Nation. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment has come in the vlog for the first time, announcing the new Bugatti Devo. Dun, dun, I'm just kidding. It, it, we, it's only like 9.50 right now. It's gonna be unveiled at 11.20 a.m. The Chiron and the Chiron Sport have been uncovered though. To my understanding, it's kind of sort of like a Vision Gran Turismo mixed with a, a Chiron, so. 11.20, 11.20. We got security there, and we got security over here. What would you give me if I sprinted over? I'm not gonna do that, I'm just kidding. I'm not, I would never do that, but it would be pretty funny. But we're not, it's not gonna happen, it's not gonna happen. Oh, I'm trying my best to always get front row access. We got the SVJ, 10.30, but we got front row seats. Do I chill? I, I can smell the food though, the food's here soon. He is getting the angle right now. I'm just here, just chilling in the grass. I'm sorry, but it is almost go time. To celebrate our heritage, an occasion of the 50th anniversary of our... The million dollar question though is, we got these stanchions right here, and soon, I don't know when, but soon. Waiting for guys. Now we're rolling. Now we're rolling. We gotta be quick though because there's like a zillion people here. So we are gonna scoot. I think we can walk on this. Can we walk on this? I don't know. Can we? I don't know. Nobody knows. More to come. Is this rear deck lid? It's kind of like Centenario esque. I stole that line from Nick. But it's true, it is. Look at all the louvers. You got that rear engine glass, six and a half liter V12. And then check out this rear wing. If you guys like aero, have yourself a moment. You got the exhaust pipes mounted up high right there. Huracan Performante esque. And this color, such a killer color. The SV Yota. Try my best to get all the exclusives for you guys. You can smell the Alcantara. It smells very, very good. We're gonna scoot on up to the front. What do you guys think of the SVJ? Enjoy this view because when it's gone, it's gone. If I get another opportunity to check out that car more in detail, I will, but it is nearly Bugatti time. We got 25 minutes and I need to get that front row seat just for you guys. Naturally, we have to cruise by the LP640 Roadster. We got the Blue Cephas Coupe, but just over there, it is Devo time. The crowd is starting to build up, but we're here, front and center. Always front and center. We got four guys trying to keep the cover from blowing off, but as you can see, it's getting a little bit windy, but they're good, they're good. Oh, here we go, here we go. I think it looks killer. It's like the perfect blend between the Vision and the Chiron. We're just waiting momentarily to get the verbal cue to walk on the stage. So here soon we're gonna get a look at that back end. Girth Nation, I think you might be impressed. Here we go, the first walk around of the new Devo. Originally I was thinking it was gonna be like a Chiron like special edition, but Bugatti absolutely killed it with this car. You can see the blue interior right there. This car is so sick. You got the Devo gas cap right there. I love this, the signature C design here on the door. You got the door handle right there. The French flag here on the side skirt. And check out these wheels. This front end though is so aggressive. It's got the signature Bugatti look, but these headlights are just sinister. 
What do you guys think? I think Bugatti personally killed it. There it is. Movers right here on the roof, straight into the shark fin. The shark fin does not actually connect to the rear wing. It's got that third brake light right there. And then we got the quad turbocharged W16, 1500 horsepower. The Vulcan S style tail lights. You got the quad exhaust. Girth Nation, good morning, good evening, and good night. I'm getting told to leave the stage. So enjoy this view of the Devo because when it's gone, it is, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. That is such a sick, sick looking car. All right, we'll see you later. I personally think Bugatti absolutely killed it. I was expecting like a special edition Chiron with just some like aero bits, but this car is sick. If I had the $5 million, I'd highly consider it. Obviously I don't, but if you do, I'd highly consider picking one up, but they're actually all sold out, so. Yeah, there it is, the new Devo. Also, we got the Chiron and the Chiron Sport. So cool. Today was the worldwide unveiling of the Devo, and so time is of the essence. I need to get this vlog up ASAP, so I'm headed back to my hotel. But casually, we have a Ferrari Enzo just sat here in a random parking lot. I love car week. Girth Nation, take a moment. The temptation to do donuts right here is very, very tempting, but I'm in the Wrangler and, well, we tried that this winter, it didn't go very well. Parking $20, but there's a Koenigsegg Regera right there, and also a purple SV. Hmm, hmm, I gotta park somewhere. I am not allowed to park here right now. I'm not paying the $20, but we're gonna make this very, very quick because there is a Koenigsegg Regera right here. Are you kidding me? The Regera, this is the only customer delivered Regera in the entire world, 1,500 horsepower. Enjoy this for you guys, because when it's gone, I'm gonna get a ticket. We gotta roll. Just sat in a ditch along the highway, car week. Also, there's another SV Roadster right there. My most viewed video of all time has 11 million views and it's of this F60 America. Check that out. One of 10 in the entire world right there. I'm trying to get back to the hotel to upload this video, but we keep running into hypercars, uh, Bugattis to be exact. This one is full exposed blue carbon fiber. Now there is one issue, one very, very big issue. Uh, we need to get this man a screwdriver. The first rule, the first rule, the very first rule of Chiron ownership is you always remove the US spec bumper. So we got the Chiron right here and we have the Koenigsegg Agera XS. These are the two fastest cars in the world across from each other. You guys might remember I filmed a video on this car, what, two weeks ago in Connecticut and now it's here in the beautiful state of California. In the comments below, would you take a Koenigsegg Agera RS or a Bugatti Chiron? In the comments below. It's not that I'm triggered, but I'm triggered. I'm triggered. The Chiron has its US spec bumper and then just across the way, this matte black Huracan left his front end lift up. Are you kidding me? Come on guys, it's car week. Like I would get, you know, any other time of the year, but at car week, to leave your front end lift up, it's just, it's not, it's irresponsible. It's irresponsible. Finally, we are headed back to the hotel. I'm hustling, I'm hustling, trying to get this video uploaded. Today's video is effectively over as always. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, like squad, be sure to smash that like button. But just like that, this vlog is over, and I'm out.